Hi guys, welcome to Create a Deliberate Life. Got a little bit of a craft DIY project for us today. Uh, I picked up these little gray plastic cheapy frames at Kirkland's some time ago. They were in their clearance, of course. I don't ever pay full price. Even a pack of three, which you see here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take this plastic frame, spray paint it gold, and turn it into this cute little French country um, frame. As you can see, it's so sweet. It actually looks like wood now. So it looks a little bit more expensive than like $2, <laughs> doesn't it, for three. So you wanna see how to do it? Okay, let's start. Okay, so how I first started was the easy way, or so I thought. I used this Rust-Oleum American Accents um, gold metallic spray paint. I thought that would be the quickest and easiest way to get these started. But no, this um, spray paint, had I read the back, <laughs> would have told me that I probably needed to sand it or somehow scratch up the surface of the plastic. I should have just went with the spray paint for the plastics, but there you go. Um, that's something for next time. But anyway, we did give it a coat of this, and then we came back upstairs after it dried, and we did a combination of the Inca Gold and the Pure Gold together, basically a one-to-one -one ratio there, and I just mixed those together and brushed it over the surface. So that's what you kind of see here. There's still a little bit of the gray peeking through, just slightly, but it's enough gold that I can go ahead and start the chalk paint, okay? So here we go. So like I said, we are gonna make our own chalk paint. So that's what I did. And there's um, plenty of tutorials on Pinterest. Just Google make your own chalk paint or DIY chalk paint. And what I did was basically just use a cat food can and put, um, I'm gonna say, was probably about an eighth of an inch of water down here. And then I just put uh, my plaster of Paris in until it formed like a pancake batter consistency. See, it's a little, it's getting a little thick because it's set a little while now, but I like it. And then I just went ahead, you're supposed to pour your um, plaster into your paint, but I did it reverse and just put my paint into my plaster. So this is it, and you can see it's a little thick. Um, and then I, I'm not sure if it needs to be thicker, but for my purposes, hey, it works. So mm -hmm. then we're just going to coat the piece with this um, plaster mix, paint and plaster. And just haphazardly, you want this to look old and like it's been around for a long time. And make sure you have paper under your piece here because this is going to get everywhere. But you can see how it's just, there's still a little bit of gold peeking through and I want it to look like somebody tried to paint over it and then it's gonna be worn off. So that's it. Let me just finish coating it and we'll come back and show you the final step. Okay, so we have all three of our little gray plastic frames that are um, coated with the DIY chalk paint. And now we are going to, I'm gonna show you how we get this effect here, okay? So I just have a paper towel. You can use a cloth. I could not find any little claws, believe it or not. So all you wanna do is just start kind of rubbing at it. And let me bring that up closer. And what you're doing is essentially rubbing off that chalk paint. And that's gonna uh, reveal your details. So you just rub, and you see there, see how that's working? And then once you get all of your details exposed, then you're going to take your rub and buff, like this, just a little bit on your finger, just a tiny, tiny bit. You can see, just a tiny bit. And then you're going to go over the areas that we just exposed. And that's gonna just bring out the details just a little bit more. Okay, so I have gone ahead and finished the, just rubbing it off to expose the detail here. It actually looks pretty good like this, really, but I want it a little bit more gold. I want a little bit of pop there, so it'll just stand out on my wall. So this is, again, all I'm doing, a little bit of gold, and I'm just gonna go over and then just kind of pick up some of the detail and then bring it out. You can see how it darkens it a little bit and that's just really going to let it stand out on my wall. And um, 
kind of use reference pictures. That's what I did. Went on Pinterest and then I just searched for um, French white and gold frame and came up with millions of pictures <laughs> and that kind of showed me how to um, basically distress this one so it'll look um, a little more authentic. So like it's been around for a while. And don't forget to do just haphazardly because what you want to to do is look like it um you found it this way <laughs> and yeah so there we go um it literally took us just a few minutes to achieve this look so i don't know what do you think um let me show you one that i have a picture in okay so this is one um that i just have a little picture this was just cut out of a magazine and look how sweet that is. It looks like little old wooden French frames. And how much would you pay for these? <laughs> really? And we made them for nothing, hardly. Plaster of Paris, some white craft paint, a little rub and buff. Honestly, the rub and buff was probably the most expensive part. So I love it. So I'm not going to show you where I'm using them yet. So you have to stay tuned and subscribe so you can see the house tour when we're done. But yeah, this is a fun little project. So now I have a whole lot of things to do this to. So thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't. So you get all of the little goodies that I have to show you on how I'm redoing my house. You guys have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.